it's very rare in the Indian car market that what a company claims that is the reality as well. In this case, Tata Motors says the Curve EV will do 400 kilometers for 90% of its buyers in real world conditions. Is this claim true? Let's find out. Right then, fully charged to 100% uh, on the bottom left you can make out and I'll shift to the eco mode for the drive and the range goes up as well. The trip meters are reset and we have just charged from the Tata Power Easy Charge outlet. Let's see what the Curve EV can do. This part of Rajasthan is so beautiful when it rains uh, in monsoons and uh, this is what we are uh, right now going through. Um, we left our hotel at 100% uh, charge. Uh, our hotel was on the outskirts of Udaipur. So from there getting on towards the Avo Highway took a while. This is a fabulous four lane, no doubt. But getting to this part took a while through narrow roads, uh, through countryside village, uh, through no roads as well, but the curve took in all. Uh, at 20 kilometers, we finally joined this highway and uh, surprisingly, in a good way, the efficiency was one, almost 140, 142 watt hour per kilometer, which is basically a full range of 380 to 400 kilometers. Again, through not so good road, so that is a positive aspect. Uh, Udaipur is at 2,000 feet above mean sea level and we are climbing right now to almost uh, towards the 3,000 mark and hence efficiency is dropping because we are climbing. Uh, nevertheless, uh, lovely weather, rains around, good scenic views and uh, efficiency, I'll show you at the 50 mark. But then again, we were climbing elevation from 2000 towards the 3000 feet mark. A couple of tunnels also came on the way, and then we have been coming down. So, gravity is always helpful with an EV, and uh, I'm very sure at the 100 kilometer mark, the efficiency will really, really go up. Uh, the rains are still there, uh, sort of drying up now. And uh, quick talk about the curve EV's pricing 17.49 lakh rupees extra daily is the starting price for the so called base model. Why so-called? Even that is feature-loaded with ample basic features in place. Top end to top end, if I compare this with a mid-size SUV leader Creta, the difference between the Creta top end petrol automatic and this top end automatic EV is only two lakh rupees with the extra price. However, in a lot of states, RTO is zero for an EV. So, in the honored price, the difference comes down. And uh, places like Chandigarh, they have an additional excise benefit as well so yeah tara has addressed the biggest issue with evs of having a higher price as compared to petrol automatics that has been erased with the curve ev uh, more figures coming up at the 100 150 200 mark and more talks about the curve ev as well stay with me for the entire video Yes, good news. Elevation has helped us a lot uh, at the 100 km mark and the 150 km mark. Efficiency stands at 125 watt hour per kilometer. So it is sort of stabilizing at uh, this level, which basically means on a full charge, approximately 440 kilometers you can get with the AC running and two people on board. But, but, but uh, my fingers are crossed because we'll take a U turn at the Gujarat Rajasthan border and go back towards Udaipur, which is at a higher elevation. Rains are no more over here and uh, now this one has a lower center of gravity and uh, that uh, with the 18 inch wheels and the slightly sportier suspension setup basically uh, gives you a lot of confidence at highway speeds or in crosswinds or I'm assuming uh, during driving the car uh, around twisties. Also driven uh, alone the ride is slightly on the stiffer side but with a full load of people and passengers that should be taken care of. Uh, can't wait to see what happens at the 200 and the 300 mark in terms of the efficiency, fingers crossed.
right then a small smile on my face because with half of battery gone at the 50% mark we have done over 215 kilometers that is the good part however we are now climbing back towards udaipur and um, things might get interesting uh, so for that you have to wait and watch what happens next by the way lovely scenic views around on this route and uh, couldn't have couldn't have asked for more while driving this car for a long duration great views always keeps you busy now uh, not all is well with the curve there are a few shortcomings which i think you should know of uh, a uh, given the rear sloping roof uh, headroom is not the best in the segment likewise knee room is not the best in the mid size segment b uh, higher versions uh, get you wireless charging but then you have to miss out on cup holders which in my books is more important for me uh, third 18 inches look fabulous but over sharp undulations they rob the car of uh, a good ride quality when you're driving the car alone so these are a few things you should definitely keep in mind and uh, higher versions get the new uh, pedestrian alert sound it's not mandatory but uh, tata is experimenting with it however you cannot switch that off and for me at lower speeds um, if i'm investing into a ev i want it to be peaceful not with that sound going on Simply fabulous at the 250 mark and the 300 mark. We are just over 130 watt hour per kilometer, in spite of the elevation gain. If this is not remarkable for the price point in the segment, then what is? It also means we will be kissing the 400 kilometer mark and uh, without running out of battery, without getting stranded in the middle of nowhere. So, very positive for those looking at purchasing the Curve EV. Uh, What happens now? Well, I'll slightly lower my speeds as we get uh, towards the airport. Uh, my aim is to hit 400. Uh, we'll be uh, rotating uh, or driving around the Udaipur area mark, and then once we are under 10%, I will start the journey towards the hotel. Fingers crossed. Interesting, and suspense is also there. So down to 10% and AC is still running, which I will of course not be using. Uh, AC is off and a uh, lot of functionality of the car get limited, which is understandable because you need to conserve those last 10%. 385 kilometers on the odometer. Our hotel is 15 kilometers away, so yeah, a bit of calculation had done. So we reached the hotel at 400 kilometers without draining out. And uh, now I'll roll down the windows and uh, entering Udaipur city. This has been. A fabulous fun. That's 401.3 kilometers, and we still have six percent battery left. Real world usage, what Tata Motors claims, that is indeed happening with the curve.